Good morning, Stacy. This is Ben over at Roberts Toyota. Um, thank you for taking the time to speak with me for a minute on the uh, phone this morning. I want to go ahead and shoot video on the uh, the, the double cab Tundras that we do have in stock. Um, since some of them don't have uh, uh, pictures on our website yet, just because they just got in, I'm going to start with this uh, this one here on the end. Got a nice uh, silver Tundra here. Now this one, uh, let's see here, actually is an 06 Tundra. It is a double cab. All of these are double cabs and all of them are four wheel drive. Um, the only one that is not a double cab is the, the one on the end that's a, uh, uh, actually a crew max that I told you briefly about on the phone. Um, but all of these will very easily fit sick people in them. Uh, this one does have tow. Actually, all of these vehicles do have a tow package on them as well as a, a bed liner in the back. Um, but nice looking wheels, really nice looking truck. We'll go ahead and look on the inside. This is an SR5, so it does have the SR5 fabric, which I'm a big fan of. As you can see, the fabric looks really good, doesn't look worn at all. Um, you, you see no uh, dents or scratches on the outside, as well as no rips or tears on the inside. Um, good looking truck. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different than some of the other trucks we're going to see, because this one, um, as I mentioned, is the, I believe, the only 06. But a uh, nice truck all the same. I'll also send you a link to the website that will give you a little bit more information on miles and, and some other uh, specifics uh, such as that. The next, uh, oh I'm sorry, we do have another 06. Uh, this is it right here. This also is an SR5. Similar to the one that I just showed you, but with the additional TRD uh, off-road package. Um, also a very nice truck. Just a little bit different. Um, in the TRD package you're going to get uh, some different shocks. It's going to have a different feel to it. You really just need to drive both of them to, to see which one you prefer. Uh, also, uh, I forgot to mention this one does not have a bed liner, but could easily one could easily be added. Also, a nice truck. Uh, we'll move on. I'm going to move kind of quick just because uh, uh, there's file size uh, uh, restrictions on the uh, website that I'm going to be using, YouTube. Uh, next is this uh, truck here. Now this one it's kind of a, a unique bird. Um, this one actually has a different trim level than what you're probably used to seeing. It's called an, an XSP trim level, which is only distinctive of the uh, uh, Southeast Toyota. Um, but still, I actually personally, I, I pr really like this truck. It's a very nice looking truck. As you can see, it does have uh, some, you have some uh, step boards here. Also really, really sharp looking wheels. I really do like those wheels. Again, this does have a truck bed in the back. You do have a uh, sliding rear window here. Now we'll look on the inside. This actually has leather on the inside. And like I said, this is a sharp looking truck. I really do like this one. Um, as you can see, really nice. I will go to the front real quick. This does have tow mirrors on it, as well as a tow package, as well as some XSP stitching here in the, in the uh, uh, headrest. Nice looking truck. Really am a big fan of this truck. I think it's really sharp looking. I really do like the uh, the accents here on some of the uh, interior that you'll see. But really, really nice. Um, really like this truck. Uh, we'll move on. Next is, a, is kind of the equivalent. Um, it's an SR5. Um, pretty similar. This one is, is in this region as opposed to the XSP. Pretty similar. You don't have the uh, skid plate that the XSP does here in the bottom, um, whereas you do have it on the XSP. This does have tow mirrors. Um, also, really nice truck. Again, I'll send you all the specifics uh, on the vehicles in the, the email that I'm sending you now. Um, again, bed liner. We'll go ahead and look on the inside here. This also does have leather and a very rare Red Rock interior. You don't see this very often, so it's very rare, and a lot of people really are big fans of this this uh, this interior. Um, really nice looking car. Sorry, truck. Again, very similar. Also, very nice. I really do like this leather, though. Um, then look around at everything. Give you an idea of what it looks like. Again, nice, nice looking truck. Um, also, one thing of note that you may that you really don't often see this actually does have a DVD headrest in both sides uh, so very nice uh, option to have especially if we can have some people in the back but nice added option
someone spent spent some money on this truck that's for sure because it does look nice uh, next and finally we have an 07 now bear with me while I find the keys let me see if I can get lucky here and find the right set Let's see oh almost got it and last set always the last set of keys you try this is the crew max this is actually quite a bit bigger it does have a full back cab now if you look, one thing I want to do, these, these trucks are all lined up evenly. I want you to see about how much room difference you see in cab length. Now it may not look like a lot from standing right here, but these trucks are almost identically parked. But when you look at the cabin length, I don't know how much you're familiar with the, the Crew Max, but you actually can see that's actually a lot of space added onto the back of that truck. Um, this one is really sharp looking. It does have a TRD off-road package as well as I really like these black uh, tail, uh, tail headlights or tail lights. Sorry. Really nice. Great looking truck. We'll go on the inside just to show you how much room there is. I mean, you can almost uh, play football back here. I mean, it's really nice. Tons of room. Great looking truck. Go on the front here just to see. This, I believe, is the only one that does have a CD changer in it. So you can basically put all your CDs in the dash. It is an in-dash CD changer. Again, all of these are four-wheel drive and all are very nice trucks. Um, but if you have any questions on any of these trucks, please let me know. They all are all very nice. Um, you can easily uh, reach me by calling me here at the dealership, 931-388-3006, or you can just reply to the email that I'm sending you now. But again, really nice trucks. If you have any questions on them, please let me know. I'll be, I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you and look forward to hearing from you.